What's up, Browns fans? Nathan Zagura alongside Sir Andrew Gribble reacting to the breaking news out here in Berea. Deshaun Kaiser being named the starter for the third preseason game against the Buccaneers this Saturday. Typically the dress rehearsal. Hugh Jackson saying he has positioned himself well to be named the starter week one against the Steelers. Just your initial reaction. Just as a, as a kind of a, maybe not a culmination, but a symbolic of how far Deshaun Kaiser has come from a guy that went from falling out of the first round of, of the NFL draft, being regarded as a guy that's going to be a project, going to need some work, going to need some time, and then coming into Berea and really from the start showing that, one, he wasn't as in and over his head as he was made out to be, and two, consistently getting better and doing the things the coaches wanted to see and then performing when the bright lights were on, both in the first preseason game against third team defenders and then against a better defense in the Giants uh, this past Monday. Yeah, I think the thing that's become clear is he's the most talented quarterback on this roster and that the game isn't too big for him. Now, he is a rookie. He is going to have those rookie mistakes and a guy who only started two years in college but obviously was very prolific at Notre Dame. But I think when you look back, Sean Kaiser's taken more first team reps than anybody over the course of this offseason. Sean Kaiser took the most reps in preseason game one. He took the most reps in preseason game two. Now slated to do that in preseason game three. And then obviously looking forward to probably doing that against the Steelers as the starting quarterback. But I think, you know, Hugh Jackson calls it raising a quarterback. And I think if you kind of take a step back and look at it as a whole, that's exactly what they did. And Kaiser has gone out there and earned it. He's been productive when given opportunities. Yeah, and I think there's an understanding that there are going to be mistakes. And I think it's clear that he hasn't been perfect by any means. I think this past uh, game against the Giants, it, it wasn't his best performance. There were some, some mistakes, some holding on to the ball too long, but uh, ultimately he probably has easily the best upside of any of these quarterbacks right now going into the season. And I think an assessment was made that if, is he ready to handle the adversity that's ready to come his way? And I think that talking to him and, and hearing him speak about knowing his mistakes and adjusting, uh, I think they feel confident that he's not going to be a rookie that's easily shaken by what's going to come at him week one, potentially against the Steelers, if he's able to hold on to this job that he's been given for Saturday's game. Yeah, and I think if you look at the comments post game, he said, we need to play strong defense. And obviously we need to support, we need a quarterback that can score points. And when you have a rookie quarterback, you need a good defense. The Browns seem to have that under Greg Williams here. You need a good offensive line. That's where all of the investment was this off season for this Browns team. And then you want a guy, and when you think about Hugh Jackson's offense, at the end of the day, he wants chunk plays, and Deshaun Kaiser certainly is your best quarterback for giving you those chunk plays, those big playability. Yeah, and we can talk about kind of the overall competition as well. And, you know, I think we all agreed beforehand, ideally, you have him learn behind a veteran that's, that's holding on to the job and, and seizing it. And I just don't think that that just didn't happen. This is not this is not the situation he fell in. I think that other rookie quarterbacks have come into those same situations. You got Jameis Winston in Tampa, Marcus Mariota in Tennessee, and then even a guy like Russell Wilson in Seattle. They brought in a veteran quarterback who they thought was maybe going to hold on to the job, but but he proved to be the best option, and they rolled with him uh, moving forward. You look back at Hugh Jackson's past. Joe Flacco got the start in the third preseason game as a rookie when Hugh was the quarterback coach, ended up holding out that job and hasn't given it up since. Yeah, and he's got success with quarterbacks, and rookie quarterbacks specifically, in the AFC North. And this is something when looking at the schedule, a lot of people said, you're not going to rush Deshaun Kaiser out there because it's Pittsburgh and three out of the four division games. I think that's a good reason to play him. We'll be honest, this season, not about a Super Bowl for the Browns. It's about getting better. And look, if the chips fall the right way and you get some breaks, maybe you're knocking on the playoff door at the end of the season. But it's about getting this team ready to really take that leap. And I think if Deshaun Kaiser has proven to this point that he's your best option going into the season, why not give him opportunities against the Steelers, the Ravens, and the Bengals to get him ready so that in 2018, when you do feel like this is a team that can make a real playoff push, when he walks into M&T Bank Stadium for the first time, it actually won't be the first time he'll have played there, he'll have known what it's like and have that under his belt. So I think this is valuable experience for him. And I think if Deshaun Kaiser goes out there and takes care of business on Saturday, which we all expect that he will, given what we've seen from him, he'll start that game. And I think this is a, a, the dawning of a new era. And in the National Football League, you've seen the trend for playing these guys right away. Look, even with Derek Carr, they had Matt Schaub there, who had a more impressive track record than really anybody on the Browns roster, but Carr ended up being the better option. And while he started slowly, as we all know, and I don't think the Browns are gonna go 0-10 like that, but it's overcoming that early adversity and developing and learning playing. He's got the talent, he's gotta learn, and, and I think in this case, the best case for him to learn is by playing. Well, you, and you mentioned that, why, why do you believe that it was mentioned in this in this release that he's going to start this third preseason game. I think we were all under the impression we were getting the big, big news that it bed. was going to be week one and, and, and we're moving on. But what, do you think it's because of his rookie status? Do you, do you think yeah. he's is it continuing to prove uh, that he's up for the task? Yeah, and I think when you look at the way Hugh Jackson's done it all, 
He was the third quarterback in week one, which yeah. we all know he probably shouldn't have been the third quarterback in week one. Then he moves up to the second quarterback. So now he moves up to the first in a preseason game. It's been steps, and I think it's part of his raising a quarterback philosophy. Look, go out there, keep doing what you're doing. I'm not handing you anything. So you go out there and you earn it, and earn it by playing solidly and moving this offense and executing what Hugh Jackson asked him to execute. And I fully believe Deshaun Kaiser now, with this is the first opportunity, he's going to get the full preparation. And I think it was smart because this is the one game they really game plan for in the preseason. Gets you ready kind of in that regular season mode. I mean, look, the quarterback that starts game three in the preseason for just about every team in the NFL starts game one of the regular season. That's just the way that it goes. He's going to go out there, take care of his business, and I fully expect that he will be the starter week one. And you look at the, the injury situation and kind of the roster situation, he's poised for some, some, big, some success in that game because you get Joe Thomas back at left tackle. Probably not going to have Batonio back at left guard, but you, you still roll with John Greco. Yep. And then it looks like we, we think Isaiah Crowell is going to be back in the backfield yep. there, which then lets you use Duke Johnson the way he's – been used originally in the preseason instead of a, an every down ball carrier. And, and then he's working with Kenny Britt, Corey Coleman, Ricardo Lewis, and, and some of these top wide receivers and tight ends. So he he's has the opportunity to really work with the players that are going to have the biggest impact on the season. Yeah, and while it's a little bit, it's a different defense, it's a 4-3 defense the Bucks play, it's actually a pretty good tune-up for Tampa, uh, for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I'll tell you why. They have they can get pressure with their front four. You've got Noah Spence, Gerald McCoy, they brought in Baker from Washington. It's a good front four that can get pressure, and while the Steelers have that 3-4 front, they get pressure with the guys up front. They have a speedy coverage linebacker who you have to be aware of at all times in the middle of the field in Levante David, and just like Ryan Shazier for the Steelers, and then they've got good corners and a good secondary like the Steelers. While they're not the best defense, and I'm talking about Pittsburgh, this is a good test for them. They have talent at all three levels, and I think it's going to be a real good opportunity to see how he does under fire against the ones. And he got some work against the ones, and we saw the success. That 20-yard dig was a great throw to Corey Coleman. Oh, they dropped Jason Pierre-Paul. He recognized that, threw it right over his head. So I'm excited about him getting that work, getting this offense together, and really hopefully this will be the first time where you can get into the flow of a game for Kaiser and really for this first team offense. Yeah, and it's been good to see Kaiser. I, can, I think both of his preseason games, he's come out maybe a little bit rusty, a little bit kind of uh, kind of swamped with, with what's going on on the field. And, and I think that he gets better as the game goes on. I think he, he made a big rookie mistake with that near with that interception that sure. was ultimately that came back against the Giants. But then he made up for it, made the most of the opportunity, and ended up taking the team down the field for three points. I think that the chunk plays weren't there against the Giants, but you're still able to move the chains, whether it be with his feet or with screen passes. And I think that was good in game adjustments and that that's why I'm curious to see what he's going to do and potentially what we imagine would be three full quarters before you go to the other quarterbacks uh, in a game where that's really going to develop see how he adjusts at halftime that's always a key thing you want to see uh, with your first team offense so he really is this is a big He's already gotten the big opportunity. He's going to start this game, and that, that bodes well for the season. But now you want to ride some momentum because, ideally, you want to be in a situation where he's not going to play much at all in game four. Right, and I think that's why you get him the most reps here, get him ready. And I think what he did in that game, yes, he still held the ball too long on occasion trying to make plays, and he's got to learn to take the checkdowns. But as that game progressed, you saw that. There was one where he looked right, came back, and immediately dumped it to Matt Days, who made a play and picked up some significant yardage. I thought he also did a very good job recognizing a trap coverage when it looked like they were baiting him to throw the out, but it would have either thrown into an interception or a big hit for his receiver, pulled the ball down, and was able to run for the first down. So I think you saw some encouraging things from Deshaun Kaiser, and now he's going to get all the reps, all the opportunity you want to see more. Yeah, now going forward, I think the discussion is what's going to be the pecking order behind him both Saturday in this preseason game, and if he holds onto the ball, what are we looking at backup quarterback-wise, third team, and potentially practice squad? Yeah, that's going to be very interesting to see. We want to thank all of you for joining us. We'll have complete coverage of this today on Cleveland Browns Daily at 1 o'clock on ESPN Cleveland. Of course, Sarandu Gribble will keep you covered on the Browns website and, of course, the Browns mobile app. Thanks for being with us here as we break down the news of the day. Deshaun Kaiser starting this Saturday against the Bucks.